Hello and welcome to Sudbury and the Museum of Childhood. Sudbury was built in the 1680s by George Vernon and it was the Vernon family who lived here right up until it came to the National Trust in 1967. In 1974 the Museum of Childhood first opened its doors and as we're not yet able to reopen to the public that's where I'm going to show you around today. But I'm not the person who's going to give you the tour. I'm going to introduce you to our play expert, Mo. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've got the bedrooms on the ceiling which show children's bedrooms throughout the ages. Can you see any of the toys up there that you might have? I might have a football, but I won't have an upside down bedroom. You wouldn't have an upside down bedroom, why? Because I will fall off. <laughs> Here it says old, old dollhouse. And over telephone so you can pretend to win someone and over here is a really big pile of animals all in a line and over here is a old thing that I don't know uh, and my favourite thing in this room is at all radio are you sitting comfortably? it's called listen with mother and the hair music. Wow, what is it? So this is what I'm working on at the moment. So what I'm doing is I'm looking over each case one at a time. I'm getting objects out to make sure they're all okay. I'm giving them a clean with this, this is a pony hair brush so it's really soft. Making sure they're all okay, cleaning all the shelves and then putting them back. This would take a lot of work. It, it, it would take a lot of work. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is very gently just give it a dust with the brush, that's it. And be really gentle. So the next thing we need to do, Mo, is because we've, we've seen it, so we need to find it on the piece of paper here. So do you want to have a look through and see if you can find it? There it is. There it is. So do you want to get the pencil and give it a big tick? There we go. So we've just left where visitors are usually allowed to go. I'm going to carry on up the stairs all the way to the top until we get to the attics. We found them! <laughs> Yay! So up here, Mo, up in the attics, is where we keep everything for the museum collection that's not on display. Okay. So we have so many toys and dolls houses, but I'm going to show you a couple of my favourite things. All of the covers should have a picture of what's on there, so we know exactly what it looks like without having to take the cover off. But we're going to take the cover off, so if you go that side. So what do you think of him? I like him. I think he's very sweet. <laughs> Here at the museum, we have lots of things that are on display, um, but a whole proportion of the museum is actually in store. Um, this is so that we can do changing exhibitions. Um, we're currently, we're still collecting things for the museum, so they're not things that we necessarily put on display straight away. Um, we've also got a resource, so if anyone wants to come and do any research here, then we have items available for them to look at. What this is my favourite rocking horse, so shall I show you? This is the kind of rocking horse that I wish I had as a child. I would let you go on that. <laughs> I know, wouldn't we all? Unfortunately, it's very old, so we can't ride on it now. I'm going to give him a stroke. What do you think his name is? I think his name is Bert. Bert. Bert the horse. That's a good name for him. <laughs> And we hope you come and visit us here at Sudbury and the Museum of Childhood when we reopen. Bye! Bye, -bye.